for those of you for those of you who were asking how how did I get here with city city multi Mr. Beaches how do I connect the tool how do I view the data how to do it right for those of you who are asking this video is for you all right this video is for you this video is for you I'm gonna be showing in this video how I get from not connecting to connecting or connected or being connected and be able to read all of my data all right but before we get to the video I'm gonna tell you this right now if you have not subscribed subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so when I do upload videos like these you get them right away so let's get into the video so you're gonna need a laptop or computer or PC with the maintenance that software come on maintenance tool software installed in there you're gonna need a maintenance tool and you're gonna need some printer cables USB via printer cables and obviously you're gonna need the H you wanna need a Mr. Beach City Multi this is the latest and greatest smart yes yeah, so you're gonna need to have a Mr. Beach system City Multi with the Mnet M1, M2 okay and um, yeah so let's go ahead and hook it up so you can take the USB side plug it into a USB port in your computer like so pretty straightforward the other side of the cable you're gonna plug it into the tool see the, see the green light that means we have USB connectivity okay I'm gonna get, get this out of the way put it right up here boom then of the tool these are the clips that comes on the tool this is the wire that comes on attached to the tool black wire and you get you have this uh okay so let's go with these plugs now these plugs are these clamps or clips you clip them onto the mnet m1 m2 and this doesn't say indoor unit but it's these these two right here goes on to your this wire right here goes to your indoor indoor units so that's where you clip them on it doesn't matter which is not polarity sensitive just click it any color any side okay That's simple. So we are clipped on M1, M2, M1 and M2. And you can see there's a second light on the tool. And it's pulsing, so we're good to go. That's the Mnet light. If the middle light is lit, that's, a, that's an error. So we're good to go. Now after a computer, I'm gonna open up the software. And automatically it had found the tool for me you see it's already lit highlighted and it's on USB COM port 4 that's what the computer assigned to it so not only do you install the software here the Mitsubishi service tool software you have to install the drivers or this device 
and you can see the number here it matches up what's on the computer PAC PAC US CMS MN1 MN-1 same thing okay so and you can see real time that that automatically select itself I didn't do anything once you set up right in your computer you have your drivers installed you got your software installed you're good to go so it's already selected now all you have to do with this screen looking just like this click select and away we go this is real time here I'm gonna just click select auto I could do manual but I'm gonna click auto make it simple click auto get to the screen that's it auto and it's gonna do it search it's searching searching real time once you see your OC shows up over here then you're good to go. So we got one indoor unit right there. Phone one. That's number 15. Actually, no, number 25. And number 26. Still counting. Searching. Searching. Loading. No OC, no condenser yet. Condenser is OC and OS. I see is this indoor unit. Oh, there's the OC. 51. I'm just going to cancel the search right now because that's it. Got one condenser. Alright. Now we are here. Let's click on monitor. Click on uh, OC. And then click on confirm. That's it. Loading real time. There you go. We are in. We are in. If you want to see the, these are your, this is your condenser section. Condenser information. All the information that's available in your condenser. Working mode is cooling, state is ordinary, your fan, your LEVs, and then if you scroll up the bottom, these are your indoor unit section in the bottom. There's two indoor units, 25 and 26, and this is uh, what they're doing space temperature, thermistor, if I put a call in and out temperature, superheat, LEV, set points modes you got it so here you go let me give you the piping diagram refrigeration circuit look at that there you go all right there you go there's your indoor units over here okay that's it If you like it give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed do so right now i'm telling you i do videos videos uploaded on a weekly basis make sure you smash that bell icon so you don't miss out and you should also consider becoming a preferred member all right you can get some perks you get to talk to me via whatsapp send me text messages when you're on the job you're running you're running you get into a job you're struggling you need some assistance Shut me a text, but only if you're a preferred member. I will help you out as much as I can via WhatsApp communication, text message.